What's all this about? What's it? You better not be messing Carla around. What? Listen, mate, you sort your own relationship out before you start lecturing me, all right? You what? Do you think Jenny was happy running this place while you were swanning around in France? What's it swanning around? Well... Abby! Abby! <sighs> Can't believe you laid on that spread and everything. I helped. How? I carried the shopping. Yeah, you didn't offer to pay for none of it, did you? I'm not made of money. Oh, and I am. Uh, hello? It's not like you were slaving over a hot stove for days on end. You shook some sweets into a bowl. I'll deny Jella's finest, is it? I will shake you into a bowl in a minute. I am still here, you know. And I distracted him whilst you set it up, getting him to go on a stupid, massive walk to nowhere for my ankles and all. Mm, so that's what all that was about? Yeah. I've been planning this for ages, and then you turn up saying that you want to go on a walk. Since when has that been a thing? Well, I, I was worried about you. Me? Plus, she said you were a bit low. But I had to tell him something. And you've been acting weird, avoiding me. I thought your postnatal depression were kicking off again. Yeah, well, I've been planning all this. Not on her own. You give it a rest. You only found out about it yesterday. I don't know what she's like. Gob on a stick. He hasn't opened your present yet. Oh, yeah, not even. Let's have a look at this. No way. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. I mean, how did you even... I've got contacts. <laughs> oh, PJ and Duncan. They look like Ant and Dick. <laughs> and it's signed. Happy birthday, Paul. Watch us wreck the mic. Psych. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Can you still remember it? Oh, how could I forget? Go on, Mel. <laughs> You asked for it. Literally have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Still got it! Still got it! <laughs> Abby, just listen. Running away from things doesn't make them disappear, OK? Did you get that from a meeting, did you? Yeah, I did. You're not wired up right. You throw me stuff down the drain and you, you follow me home. Well, what are you planning on doing, stalking me 24-7? Yeah, if that's what it takes to stop you going out and scoring, yeah. Scoring? All right, whatever you want to call it, Abby, you're an addict, OK? You need help. There's a meeting tomorrow, why don't you come? It's not just alcohol, it's all addictions. Why would I? Because I know you're already thinking you want me out so you can go and score. Only me! Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, Kev gave us a key. Right. I've got a bit of business to sort, and he said it's OK for me to stay. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I popped out for some fresh air and, and I, a bit of a funny turn, but luckily Pete was on hand, so... Yeah, happy to help. <clears throat> right, nice to see you. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Oh. Do you know other suppliers? I tried calling. When did you get back? This morning. Right. I've missed you. There was me thinking you wouldn't notice if I lived or died. Oh, don't be daft. Come here. I'm not laughing. And I'm in no mood to play Mr and Mrs. <sighs> OK. You want to talk? Well, I wanted to talk when we were in France, but you just shut down. Nothing's wrong. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm fine now. So there was something? No, just a bit out of sorts, that's all. Out of sorts? Don't go making a mouth. You, you let me come back here and run this place on my own? Yeah. I had people asking me if you were all right, and, well, well I didn't know what to say. Cos you were fine one minute, and then the next minute you weren't. It was like somebody had just thrown a switch. What are you hiding? Nothing. 
I know you better than you know yourself, Johnny Connor. Honestly. Will you stop lying? Just tell me the truth. Are you and me? Well, there won't be a you and me. Fine. Sleep in the spare room tonight. How long are you planning on staying? Oh, charming. Oh, sorry, I didn't I'm know. only pulling your leg. Stay as long as you like. It doesn't mean that. Uh, who says I don't? Actions, not words. Back it up with that bag of chips you promised and I might start believing you. Oh, all right, all right. Do you want out? No, I'm not that hungry, too. It's not like you. She's been feeling a bit funny. No, I'm all right now. You know what, I'll have a, I'll have a cheese and onion pie. All right, back in a bit. I'll stick the kettle on. It's not going to be a problem, is it? Me being here. There's nothing to do with me, really. It's Kev's house, isn't it? So it is a problem, then? No. I think you'd be a bit warmer if you were fine with it. I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. I don't play games at all. I'm more of a call a spade a shovel kind of gal. Good. Well, it'll be nice to get to know you properly. You'd be kind to our Kev, won't you? Kind? You know what I mean. Is this the don't mess me brother about talk? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what this is. Oh, chill your beans, Annie Lennox. I have no intentions of messing him about, all right? Good. And like I say, it'll be nice to get to know you. Properly. Likewise. I'm so proud of Bertie. Yeah? Hmm. He's so bright. Just into everything. So inquisitive. And many times now, he doesn't even want to be in his buggy. He wants to be walking along the street, holding my hand, toddling along. <laughs> it's magic. Right. And moving at his pace, it's as if the world's slower. Just a simple walk down to Victoria Gardens can take, like, half an hour now. He wants to stop and look at every piece of litter. Brilliant. Every piece of litter, it's like treasure to him. Chocolate wrapper could be pure gold or silver. Uh-huh. Pure mindfulness, really. Makes you stop, look, appreciate. <sighs> this isn't working. Oh, is it frozen again? No, not the connection. The... Well, yeah, the connection. This connection. What are you going on about? I'm just not feeling it. No, sorry. No, it, it's me. You're lovely. You are. You're just not her. You're just not her. All right, no problem. OK. All right, bye. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. That was Kev, uh, about the car keys. I forgot to pick them up yesterday, you know, with everything that was going on. Yeah, they're kicking off again, then. Just a bit. Where are you off now? Well, we'll get my car keys, love. You don't have to do it now, do you? Uh, well, it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? What if, uh, what if there's an emergency or something? Oh, it's always glass half empty with you, isn't it? Well, it's my old Cub Scout training. Be prepared. You got chucked out the Cub Scouts for fighting. Yes, I did. Should have been more prepared for that, shouldn't I? Mm. Right. Won't be long. Mm. Mary? <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's long past closing. I was lost in time. A love story set during the War of the Roses. Lady Anne of York has just got far more than she bargained for at Skipton Market. <laughs> oh, well, we, we just thought you'd like to know how we got on with the police. Well, what did they say? Not much. Oh, well, well, they did give us some details of a charity that might be able to help. The Finding People charity. And? That's it. Yeah. There's, there's only so much they can tell us. You know, 
with us not actually being related to Todd. <laughs> well, maybe now's the time to call Eileen. Ooh, I'd rather old fire for a bit until we got a bit more concrete information. I see. Well, I mean, we did get a bit of info. From Craig? Yeah, yeah the, the police are no longer wanting to talk to Todd. Oh, meaning that he doesn't have to be in hiding? Correct, Amundo. So, so there's nothing stopping him coming home? No. But that means the big question is, why hasn't he? Hmm. Hey, shouldn't you be off celebrating with Paul? Oh, yes, the big 3-0. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving this charity a call first, just to see what they've got to say. Oh, hey. Hiya, sorry, I shouldn't no, have called it's you. No, it's fine. I just wanted to say it. Sorry, really. You know, that isn't... Not for you to worry about, I'm fine, honest, so... Well, no, it's good. If you're anything. fine, then, you know, there's no reason... Can't come to a meeting, is there? No, I know that, and I've been to him before. Children's services made me go. It's just it's yeah, but nobody's really making you go it. this time, right? It's your choice. Yeah, I get it. I do. And to be totally straight with you, I just I can't care finding out about the morphine and that. Well, have you tried talking to him about it? <gasps> nah, he did run a flaming mile. That might have be been more supportive than you think. Yeah, and he might put his son's well-being before mine. Look, I've got to go before he gets what, back from him. What about the meeting? Well, I'll have a think about it. Great. Listen, if, if you think you're going to fall off the wagon, you call me. I mean it, right? Any time, day or night. I mean it. You and Jenny all right? Uh, we've been better. We've been worse, but, you know, we'll sort it out. Touch wood. Do you want a brew? No, I'm, uh, I'm manning the bar. I thought Ram was on duty. I sent him off to be with Alia. She's in pits about. He has me his up. Mm. Anyway, here you are. Keys. Oh, keys of Weatherfield. <laughs> no, they're for Peter's car. Kevin dropped them off. Kevin did? Yeah. All right. Off Kev, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've only got one set for that car, haven't you? <sighs> What's this? 20 questions. Oh, it's funny, you know, Kev dropped those off. Oh. 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 So, where have you really been? N nowhere. You been drinking? No. Then who have you been to see? No one. Abby? Johnny told you. Johnny told me what? He told you he saw us together and he thought there was something going on. No, he did no such thing, but is there? Not like that, no. Not like that? Then like, like what? I can't tell you, love. You can't tell me? No, she asked me to... promise not to say anything. I don't want to betray her trust. I can't. Fine. Where are you going? Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'm going to drag it out of Abby. Oh, no, no, all right, just... She's struggling with her addiction. She, she nicked some morphine from the hospital and... She said she needed something, you know, after the accident at the garage, only she didn't get a chance to take it because I got it and I poured it down the drain, OK? OK. So... So... Now, I'm going to ask one of the most obvious questions in the world. Why, why is this your problem and not Kevin's? Well, Kev doesn't know, love. She don't want him to know. I'm trying to get her to go to a meeting with me at the moment, you know, so I can get her back on the right track. And you think this is a good idea? Yeah, she needs help, love. Yes, but help from you. I mean, it wasn't that long ago she was flipping a lid over you. She's with Kev now. And you're with me? Of course. Look, love, this is just about Abby's addiction and me helping her, all right? So... nothing else, OK? You know what it's like. You've been there. Yes, I've been there and you helped me. And I fell for you. Well, what makes you think Abby's going to be any different? Well, she's not made of wood. I mean, I am irresistible. I do know that. I am serious, Peter. I know. I promise you, you've got nothing to worry about on that score, OK? <sighs> Sounds like Paul was chuffed with his present. How did you get it? Vanessa. What, Vanessa knows Ant and Dec? No. She used to work in this shop where they sold signed pictures and... 
Football shirts, you know, that type of thing. Ah, right. It turns out the owner knows this dog groomer who does one of them's dogs. Oh, which one? I don't know. A dog's a dog, isn't it? No, not the dog. Ant or deck. Well, I don't know. I think he's the one on the left. All oh, right. Well, it's nice to see you with a smile on your face again. I'm feeling happy. <laughs> In fact... What? I think you and me need to talk about my present. I'm sorry, but we're not exactly loaded at the minute, are we? But now I've got some shifts for Dev. I'm not talking about my toaster, which I love. I mean my other present. What other present? You know, kids are all asleep. Mum's out. Me just you and me present. Ah, now I get it. I know. I should have been back hours ago. Yeah. Should have. Oh, you missed me and Gemma doing let's get ready to rumble. I'm sorry. Where's Summer? She's in, in a room. How did it go with Sean and Todd? Um, not great. We did, um, we did film a charity that the police had recommended, finding people. Right. Um, we told them that, you know, Todd hadn't been in touch for two years. But, you know, there, there are people that go missing for a lot longer than that and then turn up years after, so that a lot of people can't face returning to their old life. Is there anything I can do? No, thank you. I, I don't think there's a lot any of us can do. My charity said they'll, they'll put him on their website, might do a poster campaign. <sighs> Just got to keep hoping. Yeah. I, I know this is weird for you. No, you know, I, I, I know it is. I'd be the same. Worse, even, thinking all kinds of things. But the only reason I'm looking for him is for Eileen, that is all. And to make sure he's all right, nothing else. I don't want to find him for me. To get back together with him or anything like that. You do know that, right? Yeah. Nikki, uh, it's me, Daniel. Uh, I hope you're all right. And, um, yeah, I'll try you again another time. <laughs> Very impressive moves. Yeah, for an old man. Oh, yeah, I give you old man, you cheeky little... Put my phone in charge and you're done. No, I will. Thank you. <laughs> well, that is, um, <clears throat> well, it's something. Mm. <laughs> Just kicking myself that I didn't get to see it live. Uh, it'll be other times. Maybe not that one. It's all right. You saying that makes it even worse. You always said how so many people have let you down in your life. I just, I don't want to be another one. You're not. Oh, I would like to make it up to you. Starting. With this. Are you going to go down on one knee? No. Uh, no. I... <laughs> I'm winding you up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw your, uh... Please give me some gift ideas on your search history. Not that I was looking at your search history. It just kind of popped up there. <clears throat> oh, bracelet. Thanks. You do know that if we could get married in the church, I'd propose to you in a shop. And you know I'd say, yeah. <laughs> you know this addiction group you go to? Yeah. I mean, do you get rewards for bringing new recruits or something? Because you should do. You should get a cuddly toy or a tease made or something. Mm. You're not funny. Although that would be addictive, wouldn't it? That's funny. You need to just be careful, OK? You can't just go around mending every bird that you find with a with a broken wing. I know, I know that. And Abby has had a crush on you. And she's vulnerable. And if you start helping her, then... Who is it? And so it begins. 
Go on, do what you have to. Hey. Hiya, sorry. No, no, no. no I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say this meeting ain't for me. Sitting in some church hall with a load of old owl kids. No offense. No, no. no offense, Tate. I just it's just not my scene. Would it help if I told you there's as much tea as you can drink and plenty of biscuits and not just the ginger ones. <laughs> Jockey? Oh yeah, loads of them, you know the little round biscuits with the smiley faces. Oh no, they're triggering for me. The whole smiley face thing, you know. Yeah, OK. Well, listen, it's... It's a lot easier just to go out and get high, isn't it? But, you know, this is the harder option, this. You've got to face up to things. And I also know that you're better than this and that you want to be sorted for yourself and for everybody else around you. I mean, I can, I can take you if you want. I mean, I can I'll pick you no. up and... I mean, no, if I, if I decide to do it, I've got to do it under my own steam. Yeah, OK, well, it's got to be your choice. You know, every, everything's your choice. You know, you're the one who's going to have to make the next step, and if you do, I'll be there to help you. I promise you that, OK? OK, I'll, I'll do it. Abbe? Well, I've, I've got to go. Abbe? OK, listen, A, hey, I'm proud of you, OK? I'm proud of you. Thank you. Any time. <sighs> I know what I'm doing, love. We're celebrating some of the more memorable moments of Sally Metcalf's time on the cobbles later in Coronation Street Icons at 8.30. But before that, airside officer Ian has a close shave while out on the runway at Heathrow, Britain's busiest airport. The new series continues next. <laughs>